guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. We got invited to a special event at one of our authorized dealers. I actually have no idea what's gonna be there and I'm super excited to see what there is. So stay tuned if you wanna see some nice goodies. And I mean, look at this mall. It is so beautiful right now for the holidays. And I can't wait. show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my AP Royal Oak 38 millimeter chrono. It's got blue sub dials, stainless steel, and a white tapestry dial, and it's just so stunning. But I mean, just look at this background, you guys. This escalator is kind of insane. It's so merry you're in the city. So Watches of Switzerland extended a private invitation to us to view most of the current models at Patek Philippe. The viewing showcased most of the models that are currently available, including some of the new 2020 releases. The Nautilus and Aquanaut, however, weren't included in this event. They had champagne and some yummy goodies for us to enjoy while we took a peek at what the grand cases had inside. The first case was the most interesting and star case of all, I'd say. It included multiple complications watches. There were a lot of watches to see and so many to go through, so I picked out the ones that caught my eye and highlighted them for you guys. First up is the 5172G. This is one of the first few that jumped out at me. I think the white gold combination with the blue dial and blue strap is so elegantly done. The blue Nubuck strap is truly my favorite of all the watches I saw. I'm not much of a strap gal, I much more prefer bracelets, but the softness and lushness of this blue Nubuck alongside the contrast white stitching was so beautiful to me. Patek describes this chronograph as having a subtle vintage allure, and I couldn't agree more. We even had our AD, Jean, try on the watch because it looks so good with his blue suit and it truly is such a stunning piece. Next up to catch my eye is of course another blue watch, but this one's special. This is the 7234G, the ladies Calatrava Pilot. It's a new 2020 release and it's stunning. This one called out to me because I actually own the 7234R, the same watch but in a brown dial with rose gold. This new release is a great addition to round out the ladies pilots to match the men's pilots with the 5524G and R. Speaking of which, coming right up is the men's pilot watches, the 5524G and 5524R, which measure bigger at 42mm. You can really see the tonal difference in terms of dial color and finishes. The white gold blue dial option is definitely cooler in tone, whereas the rose gold brown dial is warmer in tone. But it ultimately depends on the type of look, color combo, and aesthetic you like to go for. Switching it up a bit, this is the 5270. It's a stunning perpetual calendar that definitely pops out within this case because of its quite loud and unique bracelet. But I think the black dial helps tone it down a bit. The gold bracelet, which Patek calls the Goot bracelet, gorgeously blends with the case. Next up is the 5270J. It's a new model for 2020 and it comes with a silvery white dial with a yellow gold case. It stands as a Patek classic when it comes to grand complications. Mm -hmm. 
This is the 5930G. It's Patek's first watch that's both a world time and chronograph in one. I especially love the beautiful blue pattern dial on this piece. Next up is the second watch case. The first one that immediately grabbed my eye on this row was the 5212A. It's got a stunningly clean look with the 40mm case and tan leather strap. This watch tells you the week number, day, and date. And the dial is unique for its letters and numbers that look like they've been imperfectly handwritten. This watch is actually my husband's favorite watch of the entire event, the 5320G, and I can see why. It's a beautifully classic piece with just enough modern. The lacquer cream dial is everything, and the numbers are brilliantly raised. It's a perfect balance of vintage and modern, and I personally think this piece would look stunning on the blue nubuck strap. Finally, we have the last case with the pieces marketed as ladies' watches. But you guys know on my channel that there's no such thing as a ladies' or man's watch. It's just whatever piece you like to wear and what makes your heart sing. These were definitely dressier watches with much more bling and diamonds. I found the 7300 pretty. It's a 36mm rose gold piece. There's the option with diamonds just around the bezel. and the option with diamonds that go around the bezel, down the bracelet and lugs, and around the crown, which I found amazing attention to detail. 469 diamonds all around, and it's definitely a showstopper. That's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which watch was your favorite and which you'd pick for yourself. Give the video a cute thumbs up if you liked coming along with me and follow me on my Insta for all updates. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more fun videos and I'll definitely see you guys soon.